after merging into the NHL from a rival league, the Oilers created one of the greatest dynasties of all times and have the banners hanging from the rafters here in Edmonton. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and there's a thrilling atmosphere here tonight because the team that is home was on the road, and they got the split in the first two games away. Is there a caution for the home team in this one? Well, I think there is, Doc, because I think they accomplished their goal. Yes, you'd like to win the first two games on the road in a playoff series, but realistically, if you can come home 1-1, You've accomplished that goal. Now you have to reassess. Now you have the home ice and see if you can take advantage of winning one of those first two games on the road. The Oilers have the momentum in this series now. They have their crowd behind them. The coaching staff will get the matchups they want, which will give them the opportunity to take a lead in this series. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. Off a victory in the last game, so a start in this one as this series continues. Playoff series just got harder to win with last game's loss, so he'll need to dig deep, and so will his team in this contest ahead. And they are ready for the opening face-off, and so are we. McDavid's a good face-off man, ready for Edmonton. McKinnon's opposite him for Winnipeg. To O'Reilly. Passing one off now to Veselainen. And he steps across the line. He just fanned on. Sauced big time to O'Reilly. Chip to Veselainen. Right to the point. To the half wall. Point to point to O'Reilly. Passed across point to point. Great chance, but he missed. Doesn't matter how hard you shoot it, he missed the net by a mile. You're gonna have to go chase it down. Fires, terrific save. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. Over three minutes have been played. Nothing up on the score sheet yet. Edmonton's got it again. Using the point. Just fired it wide. Pitching this one to Veselainen. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Slid to Gostaspare. Edmonton's along the wing at center ice. Dogged determination there by O'Reilly. On to Wengronowski. Looks ahead to start something. Moving it to O'Reilly. Carries it on in from center. O'Reilly's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Shoots it off. Save! And still another save. What a show! Right along the blue line. And now after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. Edmonton's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Oilers penalty to number 19. Leads two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, seven minutes, 19 seconds. The Jets' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Outlet up the middle to Ehlers. The Oilers continue on in their own end. Pitching it to Blades. Shoots one. Just over the top. You have to hit the net in that area. Winnipeg's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. Couldn't retain possession. One-time blast. Score! And this one is tied.
the Oilers lug the puck in the defensive zone. Could be trouble near the line. Trying for it. Free puck off an offender. That roadblock was set up. The Oilers' power play let him down at a very important time. And it's pitched back in to get a change. That's the end. Good work by Brown. Edmonton's winging it at neutral ice. Trying to go to Blades. The clock bleeds down to the last minute. Intercepted that one at an important place. He's got that point pass. In the first period. A backhand shot. Outstanding work with the glove. Along with a little pushing and shoving, there's always a little talking going on in those scrubs. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and we'll get the penalty. The Jets get a two-minute penalty for roughing. They move the puck around beautifully on a power play, just nothing to show for it. Absolutely. I think you're right, Eddie. Let's see what the team does here. Well, their power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. Seems like we've had a lot of this going on after a couple of the last whistles. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody's looking to dance in the future. Winnipeg's penalty killers are going to have to be strong here. A fresh sheet of ice. Took that away in his own zone. Got it back out of the zone. Edmonton's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. On the outside, a shot. Swept aside. Cut down on that rush. Great job on a cut pass. Step behind the cage. Edmonton starting back in the defensive zone. Takes that pass in the corner. In the slot. Rister from the slot. Oh, a near miss. Oh, this is prime real estate right in front of the goal with the puck. You got to find a way to hit the net. You can't miss that wide. win that face off wide of the net all oh, close call there got his pad on that one pass attempt to Jamie Ben to Miller and now it's directed to O'Reilly skilled play by Jamie Ben really good cut of the pass from the slot of Rister Terrific determination by Jamie Benn. The Oilers have gotten to center ice. Laid on to Blades. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Stole that pass away in his own end. Slides it to the point. Snapping a pass to Perron. Oh, broke it up. Taken over again. Directing that one to Perron. Crosses that line. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Right behind the net. Looks to make a play from the corner. Shot. Marvelous save. No time on that one. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. Just over nine minutes remaining in the period. Two goals so far, divided in half. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. The 
Jets continue to probe up the wing. Flings it. Handled with the stick. Edmonton's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Let's it go. And a save. Gathered up again by Miller. Winnipeg's got it between the blue lines. Propelled to Veselainen. Moore's got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. The Jets have control of the puck in their own end. He won't avoid something for doing that. And they'll try to settle the score this way. This fight all started because of the hit right before. He was looking for that one big punch to end it. The Oilers are up on their feet, banging the boards. I don't know that the building's been louder than it is right now. Winnipeg's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. Couldn't get through and retain possession. He cleared that puck out of there. The Jets go back to pick it up. Time is dwindling on this power play. Looking to McKinnon. Chip to Morrissey. Shoots. Winnipeg's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Corrals it. Back at the blue line. Swept away. Puck is thrown to McKinnon. Cut off that pass in the neutral zone. Let's it go. Turned away with the stick. <laughs> Passing one off now to Perron. Moving along in neutral ice. Carried to the corner by Fleury. That's a great deflection there. Good stick. Shot. Big point. He knocked it in himself. It's in the net. It counts. There's the old adage. Get it to the net. You never know what can happen. This goes off the goaltender and in. have broken the tie here in the third period. So what will be their philosophy now? We'll probably see it from this opening faceoff. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. Oh, did he ever get matched? I saw that one coming from a mile away. Slid to Veselainen. A shot. No luck. Man, you wait all game for a chance like that, and unfortunately for him, it clunked into the corner. Gathered up again by Miller. Pitching this one to Veselainen. On to Blades. That puck's loose, defended away by O'Reilly. To the point it comes. Right near the line. Gathered up again by Blades. Good shooting place. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Moving it to Ben. Trying to go to O'Reilly. 
Solid work there by Ben. The Oilers starting back in their own end. Laid on to Blades. Free puck off a defender. Good defensive read with that one. Into the end of attack. Good solid defensive play with the stick. Propelled to Veselina. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Gets that one on a cross. Snaps it to O'Reilly. No way he's getting by there. This game is going to wind down and be close right to the final horn. Each team has tried to enforce their style of play on the other. It's just not happened. Edmonton setting up an offense from the wing. That one is pointed to him. Winnipeg's quick on the draw. Back to the point. Shot on. Oh, what a block of that shot. He stood right into it. Heading down low. Forks it to McKinnon. Poked away. Hangs on to it. They've got all the gunners out. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. Some power plays are really intricate. Others, it really is just a meat and potatoes power play. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You're tied, you got a power play, you want to find a way to score, and they've done that. The Jets have broken the tie here in the third period. A wonderful ride to the finish for all of us now. Pitching it to Perron. Gains the zone. And it's a good pickup. Feeds the point. Jabbed away by Pacioretty. Great save. Chip to Blades. The Jets in their own end have control of the puck. Slid to Pacioretty. Has it in his own end. Gains that offensive line. Good try there. A shot. Stood up all the way and blocked it. He hangs on and gets the whistle. We knew there'd be a 2-1 lead at the end of this game. We didn't know how long it would take, but we also know that somebody's got to even this up next time, or it's a decided bit of momentum building. The tie has been broken. We obviously feel good about the win. Now the pressure is on their opponents to answer back in the next game. Tournaments are exciting, especially when they are well played. We look with anticipation to our next game. Hope you do, too. Good night for now.